In this video, we will see how we can create the access token on the hugging face. So first of all, we will open the hugging face website by going to this particular URL huggingface.co and in order to create the access token, the login is required on this website. I am already logged in here. So once we are logged in, we need to click on this profile icon here, which is present on the right top corner. And here we need to select settings. Now in the left panel, we will go to the access tokens. And on this page, we will click on this create new token. Now we will have these three token types among which we need to select the relevant token type according to our use case. The important thing here is that we cannot change the token type once the token is created. Now the first token type is the read type. So if we create the token with this read type, then this token will have the read only access to our personal resources and our organization's resources. So what I meant by the organization resources here. So the organization resources here are those resources which are present in the organization to which we are part of. Then using this token, we can also make the calls to the inference API and we can also use this token to open the pull request and we can also comment on the discussions. And the next type of the token is this write type. So using this token, we will have the read and write both the access to our personal as well as the organization resources. And similar to read, here also we can make the calls to the inference API. The last, the third type is the fine grain type. So let's say we want to customize or control the permissions for each individual resources. For example, we want a separate permissions for the repositories and the different permissions for the inference or the webhooks or any other uh, resources. So then in that case, we can use this fine grained type of token. And using this, we can even separate the permissions for personal and the organization's resources. So for example, from here, we can manage the access which are present at the user level. So first one is the repositories. So we can give the permission for the read access to contents which are present in the repos under our personal namespace. Then we have the option to give the permission to contents of all the public gated repos which we can access. So here we are talking about the public gated repos which is slightly different than the public repos. So the public repos are those which are publicly available to use. But the public gated repos are those where extra step is required in order to access those repos. This extra step can be in the form of like we accept the terms and condition or we make an explicit request to access that particular repo. So we can manage the access for those type of repos here. Then we can give the right access to the contents or the settings for all the repos. Then we can manage the permissions related to the inference. Like we can give the permission to make the calls to the serverless inference API or we can give the permission to make the calls to inference endpoints and similarly we can manage the inference endpoints. There are webhooks related permissions and the collections related permissions as well. Now from here we can manage the permissions for the discussions and posts as well. So one is for the personal namespace, the other one is for the external repos. Then we have the option to manage the billing related permissions as well. Then we have the repository specific permissions also. Here also we had the repositories. So from here we can manage the permissions at the generic level. But let's suppose we want a specific permission for a specific repos. So that can be done using this section here. So we can search the repo here and for that specific repo we can manage the access from these options. Then we have the option to manage the permissions at the organization level. So we can search the organization to which we are part of and then we can manage the different permissions here. So like that we can fine grain the permissions with respect to different resources. So let's now go ahead with the read option for now. So here we will give the token name. So let's keep this HF API integration key and let's hit create token. 
so the token is created now we will copy this and we will keep it in a safe place because we will not be able to see this token again once we close this dialog box here so once we have kept this key in a safe place we will click on this done now our key will be shown here which has this read access and this is the name of the key which we had provided now let's suppose we want to regenerate this key and we want to keep the name as it is so we have this option here so we will click on this invalidate and refresh so this will refresh this value here and this is the new key so again we will copy this and keep it in a safe place and we will click on this done so this value will be refreshed now so let's refresh the page again so the value is refreshed and we have kept the name as it is now let's suppose we no longer require this particular key so we can even delete from this here now if you want to learn more things about hugging face then do check out the hugging face playlist on the channel and do hit the like button if this video was useful to you and for the latest content you can subscribe the channel